Hello again, it's Lock Noob and it's a, a rainy day today, but I did get a package through the post and this was from the um, excellent lock picker, well known on YouTube, um, Trekmaster30. And Trekmaster30 sent me a couple of ace padlocks after I commented that I, uh, I really like ace locks. Um, so the this brand I'd say in terms of American locks um, is is really really quite good. The smaller ones I think have tend to have standard pins. The medium sized ones have spools, and I've known some of the larger ones have spools and or serrated pins as well. And I just find that um, these Ace Hardware padlocks just offer really sort of uh, good value. Um, I, I've I have a, a couple in my collection already, and um, not many, I have to say, and, uh, and certainly not these ones. And I have to say that I've just been really impressed with them, you know, for a, a standard sort of uh, brand of lock. Um, so what did we get? We have a, a 25 mil and a 29 millimeter, so um, so one inch and uh, uh, one and one eighth inch. So what does it say about it? So they're both weather resistant, hard and seal shackle locks. Um, brass with a lifetime warranty, that's always a good sign, isn't it? And uh, this one says it's got double locking, so I'm assuming this one has a single uh, locking pawl, so that usually means that uh, you've got two locking pawls on this one and possibly only one on this one. We'll have a look at that. Uh, anything on the back? No, pretty much the same kind of thing, really, apart from the fact that they say um, how much prying resistance you get, so £200 on this one, so £1,000 on this one, so five times more. Um, cut resistance, interestingly, so I, I don't think I've ever seen these uh, figures on the back of a lock packet before. It's actually quite interesting, isn't it? So both of them have four pin cores, um, but the cut resistance of these are 800 versus, well, um, just over twice as much, um, 2,200 pounds of cut resistance. So how much, I guess, force you need to um, cut through the shackle. Kind of cool. I like it. I don't know what this actually means in reality. I don't know how much force do you actually need in terms of you know um, feel but it's kind of cool to have those figures anyway even if they aren't that directly comparable um, made in China though I suppose a lot of locks are uh, mass lock in particular uh, uh, manufacturing a lot of locks in China so yeah anyway let's uh, let's have a go at picking these um, should we start with this one very nicely and neatly um, cut out by the way Trekmaster 30 and uh, put back in very cool I do appreciate that. The yep, says China on the, the side. Uh, very small um, cores, so sort of hard to tension sometimes. Little four pin they see. Kind of nice. Well, let's have a, let's see if I can pick it open first, and then we'll um, then we'll worry about what's actually inside it. So, going to use a, a slim down southward tension tool and a slim southward pick, and see what I can get. And we're open. Just a couple of clicks on some pins. So is it? Yeah. It's, ah. So it is. Yeah. So this one's definitely single uh, locking pawl, and that's just down here. So there isn't like a, a, a double locking pawl. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see how it works with the key. Is it nice? Yeah. Well, nice. It's quite a, a nice spring on the core. Cool. Uh, let's have a look at its bigger brother. I'll get it out. Okay, so still four pins, slightly bigger core inside though, so maybe a little easier to get the pick in and see what's going on here. Okay. So that's four, three, two, two. Oh, look at that, a false set. So we do have a spool pin in here. Who is it though? Feels like pin one. That's high, really high. And I've lost the set on that. Let's try again. So that's four, three, two, and one again. And we're open, yeah. Okay, cool, nice little pick that one. It's got a little spool pin in there. Let's have a look at that key. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So pin one was really high, and um, and quite effective little spool that because it did mean I dropped the pins um, when I picked it the first time. So yeah, pretty cool. So thank you so much, Trekmaster Thirty, for that um, uh, kind gesture to send these to me. They're, they're cool little locks. Um, I really like them, so thank you so much for sending them, especially in the original packaging. It's really cool to see, um, you know, these figures on the back. I've not seen this before, and it would be kind of cool if more uh, lock manufacturers did it. At least I think so. All right, hope you enjoyed watching that, and I'll see you all next time.